Hey guys, how's it going today? Um, I want to start this video off by saying I actually did a recording uh, for what I'm about to show you here behind me. <clears throat> However, I didn't like the way I had done the recording. And to go through and just redo everything is a lot of work right now. So, here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to show you what the new project was and what we've done. So let's come over to the computer. As you can see, we have gone full loop. Now the radiator, this is an all aluminum loop setup from EK Waterblock. Radiator is a 240 rad right here in the front. Uh, the reservoir is right here at the bottom and basically we are going out into the radiator from the radiator into the block and from the block back down into the pump now the reason I chose that routing is for a few things one it looks better two it may not seem efficient but it is that being said We've also changed the case to a Rosewill Predator type case. I believe this one's called the Star Predator or something of that nature. Uh, the reason I chose this one was because of two regular USB, two USB 3, front audio obviously, five and a quarter bay capability. But I also chose it because it, dimension-wise, from front to back and so forth, it was about the same as the HAF case here. Ignore everything over there on the table because that is a definite new project. Um, yep. Uh, so that's what's going on. Um, at least on this end. I really like the setup. Uh, it actually, compared to the H60 cooler, um, where, you know, I ran Prime on it before at 3.825, um, I was hitting about 60 to 68 maximum. With this thing, I've been able to clock it up higher. Uh, we're at 3.9 gigahertz now, uh, very stable overall, and we're hitting in the 50s maybe. Um, I think we tapped out maybe max 60 doing a prime 95 test, and that's in like four hours. That's the loops already warmed up at that point. Um, and it, that's full ramped up speed on the fans and everything else. Um, now we're not using the fans, uh, the Vardar fans that came with it because I was actually talking with a friend on Facebook and I was telling him about it and why I switched the fans and he's like, you're kidding, right? I'm like, no, I'm not. It just doesn't cool it enough. It's not, it do, they don't give it enough airflow for some reason. I mean, I'm not really seeing a nice drop in the temperature bringing it up like that. He's like, well, what's your ambient? I said about 30 degrees Celsius. He's like, well, you should only really be maxing about 20 over it. I said, I'm getting close to 30. He's like, yeah, there's a problem there. And I said, yeah, I knew there was. So he looked the fans up. He's like, yeah, those are not the greatest fans in the world from EK. They've actually got fans, I found out from him, that spin up at in excess of 3,000 RPMs and get louder and just force that air through. So, here's what I told him I did. Um, as with the H60 cooler, I put two Ada fans on the front outside of the case. Okay? <clears throat> and then there is a third one right here on the inside. And then there's 
one on the back. Now the two Vardar fans that we got with it are up here at the top. Um, basically what this is doing is it's basically, and we've got a blue LED one down here at the case that's just kind of blowing up underneath the drives. But what we're doing is we're taking from this corner straight up back and out on this corner in this area. Um, the case, honestly, it has really nice airflow. Uh, even for the three fan, the, the, not even three, three, it's two, four, five, six. For the seven fans that are in there, that's good airflow. And I'll tell you what. Adding the one here on the inside of the case, because it's already pushing on the top where the hookups go for the lines, this fan right here isn't just helping pull more air through. It's actually blowing back along the 1070 Strix card, which promotes good airflow, especially across that thing, because that is an overclocked card. But the other problem is the VRM heat sinks in here for the MOSFETs. Uh, those things get really hot, especially when you overclock. And the best thing to do is keep them cool. Uh, it helps regulate their power better the cooler you can keep them. Uh, so we did some adjusting on the fan back here because you can actually take it up and down and you know, we shoved it all the way up put the case cover back on <clears throat> and since then the temperatures have been nice uh, to give you an idea here uh, currently we're sitting at idle we're currently at 40 degrees centigrade so we're about 10 degrees over ambient right now uh, the room the basement area down here is Sitting at roughly right now, uh, 27 degrees centigrade, uh, but we're calling it 30 because what's a couple extra degrees? So, and it just went down to 37. So, I mean, the more this thing actually idles, the cooler it gets. I think I've seen it as low as 36, which is nowhere near what it was doing with the H60. Um, but the uh, motherboard and the PCH on the board are both reading 27 and 46, respectively. So the motherboard's reading 27, and the PCH is 46 right now. Um, and the GPU, it was mining uh, a little bit ago, but I stopped it because I've been playing music moving things around. I'm actually getting ready to set it back down next to the desk down over here. So I figured, hey, let's do this video real quick, you know, just do a short redo of the whole thing and talk about everything else. Um, the voltage that we're running on this, I will give you exact numbers. I've got to pull up the AMD Ryzen Master tool to actually read these exact numbers. Um, we are at 1.39375 volts at 3.9 stable. Actually, you could back that off a little bit and it's still going to be stable, at least for my system it is. Um, we could try and push it to 4.0, however, after talking to Brit, getting his numbers, it's just like, so it's another extra 100 points on um, Cinebench. What do I care? You know, it's 100 points. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, no, <laughs> it's not worth it. So, it definitely is stable. Um, now, when this actually ramps up, uh, I mean, right now, it's actually, it's noisy, but it's not noisy noisy. Uh, to give you an idea, 
I'm going to go into our fan settings here, and I'll ramp it up to full speed for you. And there you have it. You know, that's what she sounds like at about those speeds. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm reconfiguring um, certain things on the fan curve again. Uh, the reason being, you know, we want Nice airflow right now, anyway. And you know, just doing that even brought it down to um, thirty seven. So we are definitely. doing some good there. Um, so there's definitely that. But anyway, like it if you like it, hate it if you hate it, if you don't know what to think you don't know what to think, but don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel. Um, to give you an idea, I do know what our giveaway is. I do now, and it's going to definitely be for the console guys, um, especially those with Xbox, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Um, I spent, you know, my own money, I'm doing this giveaway out of my own money. So I can say that officially... Uh, the giveaway will have something to do with Xbox, um, but I'm not going to say exactly what until a later date at this point. So, have fun. Peace out.